Welcome to the Cinema Gold Show. I am your host, Larry Luis. Today we're diving into the latest streaming news from around the industry. First, we'd like to thank our sponsor, Poddex, for sponsoring this episode. Poddex are unique interview questions and episode starting prompts in the palm of your hand. So whether you're a new podcaster or existing broadcaster looking to grow your audience or get more engagement, you're going to want to check out poddex.com and use code Larry21 for 10% off your first order. Now let's get on to our first main topic. Manifest is saved by Netflix. Manifest fans, your wish has been granted. Netflix has picked up the canceled NBC Network TV drama for its fourth and final season, consisting of a massive 20 new episodes. This will allow the series creators the opportunity to conclude the various dangling plot threads that went unresolved by season three's finale, Cliffhanger. Head of Globe TV for Netflix, Bella Bajaria said, quote, Since its premiere on Netflix in June, Manifest has proven to be very popular with our members. Jeff Frake and his team have created a mystery that has viewers around the world on the edge of their seats and believing again in second chances. And we're thrilled that they will bring fans some closure with this final supersized season. What started years ago as a flight of fancy deep in my imagination has evolved into the jet engine journey of a lifetime. Never in my wildest dreams could I have envisioned the worldwide outpouring of love and support for this story. Its characters and the teams who work so hard to bring it all to life. Now we will be able to reward the fans with the ending they deserve the most. On behalf of the cast, the crew, the writers, directors, and producers, thank you to Netflix, to Warner Brothers, and of course to the fans. You did this, said um, Break. The news comes as a reversal. If previous reports are believed, Netflix originally declined to pick up the NBC series despite previous season's popularities on the streaming service. More recent reports suggested that talks had resumed and a deal was getting closer. Rake encouraged fans in the interim not to give up. Rake created Manifest with a six season blueprint in mind, but now he's going to have to condense his plans for the final three seasons into these last 20 episodes. Premiering in September 2018, Manifest follows a passenger and crew of commercial flight that went missing, with all on board presumed dead for five years. Passengers attempt to reintegrate into their old lives, but soon find that they and their loved ones aren't the same as they were. Things only get more difficult as they begin to see flashes of the future that they refer to as callings. What do you think? Um, let us know in the comments section below, and you can catch the first three seasons on of Manifest on Netflix. And yeah, let us know your thoughts on the show. Are you happy that they got brought back for a final season? Let us know, and hey, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up. And now, our second topic, The Return of the Rocketeer, is coming to Disney+. Plus. The Rocketeer sequel is finally moving forward at Disney+. Plus. The Rocketeer will return with an all-new movie on Disney+. Plus. It was recently reported that a follow-up movie entitled the Return of the Rocketeer is in the development for the streamer with David and Jessica. I'm going to butcher their last name, so I'll just say O. Producing under their Yoruba Saxon banner. Brigham Taylor will also produce with Mortal Media Executive Producing. The movie is written by Ed Ricourt. There's also talks for David O to possibly star. The title seems to suggest some kind of continuation over an all out reboot and a few select details have been revealed about the plot. Return of the Rocketeer will reportedly have an all-new creative directive with a screenplay focusing on a retired Tuskegee, Tuskegee Airman who takes up the mantle of the Rocketeer. It's not clear at this time if any actors or characters from the original movie will return. Directed by Joe Johnston and based on Dave Stevens' comic book character the same name, the Rocketeer was released in theaters in 1991. Set in 1930s LA, the story follows stunt pilot Cliff 
see Gordon who comes across a rocket-powered jetpack and he becomes and he uses to become the superhero. All the while, those looking to take him down are Howard Hughes and the FBI, along with the Nazi operatives that stole the jetpack from Hughes, along with Billy Campbell in the lead. The Rocketeer also starred Jennifer Connelly, Alan Arkin, Timothy Dalton, Terry O'Quinn, Clint Howard, and Paul Sorvino. Disney has tested the waters with expanding the world of the Rocketeer in recent years. In 2019, an animated TV series adaptation premiered on Disney Junior, presenting a seven-year-old taking the name in a show geared for toddlers. Campbell returned to voice the father of the lead character, and there are many Easter eggs referencing the original movie. The show was canceled after one season, airing its, episode, its last episode last year. For the past three decades, filmmakers involved with The Rocketeer had envisioned a sequel. The movie was originally envisioned as the first of a trilogy, and Disney was hoping to see a new franchise blossom, similarly to what had happened with the Indiana Jones movies. Unfortunately, the movie did not perform as well at the box office as everyone was hoping for, and it's taken decades for Disney to fully commit to bringing back the Rocketeer for another movie. Nostalgia is everything these days, and the cult following that has been built for the Rocketeer seems to have finally swayed Disney into making the sequel. And our final topic is the Texas Chainsaw Massacre rights were picked up by Netflix. The planned sequel will skip theaters and stream exclusively on Netflix. Netflix has struck a deal with the legendary pictures, allowing the streaming giant to have global rights for the upcoming installment in the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. As the Hollywood Reporter notes, the forthcoming slasher horror film will skip theaters and stream exclusively on Netflix. Texas Chainsaw Massacre served as a direct sequel to the original, which was released in 1974, and will disregard all previous films of the franchise. No release date has been given, but the film is slated to come out sometime this year. Excuse me. The original Texas Chainsaw Massacre has become one of the most influential horror films since its release in the 70s, with the character Leatherface becoming a widely recognized horror icon on par with the likes of Freddy Krueger and Jason Voorhees. This is not the first time Netflix and Legendary struck a deal. The pair previously collaborated to release Anola Holmes, starring Stranger Things co-star Millie Bobby Brown as the title character. The film proved to be a success with Netflix reporting that 76 million households streaming the movie and the sequel is now in the works. As soon as you think about um, this news, are you going to watch the sequel? Do you think it's smart to kind of do, I guess, a kind of a reboot-ish type thing and skip the other films that were part of the franchise? Let us know in the comment section below and uh, let us know what you think. Thanks for watching. That's all we got for this episode of the Cinema Gold Show. Um, you can find us on all major podcast platforms. Find us on Facebook, uh, YouTube, Instagram. Just search the Cinema Gold Show. And once again, we'd like to thank our sponsor, Poddex, for sponsoring this episode. You can check them out today at poddex.com. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.